Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Justin Breithaupt. This is another epic, amazing, awesome episode of the Unboxing Authority. And on this episode, we have the v Joy Car C60 Universal GPS Heads-Up Display, uh, HUD Speedometer Trip Mileage uh, from Satellites Windshield Projector for Car and All Vehicles Automobiles, $32.99. $32.99, that's a good deal. All right. So let's check this out and see if it works. So, you know, you get your car, maybe you don't know if the speedometer's right, you don't know if you got the exact speed or whatever, and or maybe your speedometer just broke and you want to be like the Back to the Future. Or maybe you don't want a speedometer in your dash, you want it on top of your dash, you want to have something else there, like maybe a computer or something, I don't know, inside your, your dash. And so you want to have something on top. But you don't want to tie up your smartphone, you know? I hate it, you tie up your smartphone making it a GPS speedometer and you want something that's kind of permanent that you can put there that's going to take the place of that. Well that is exactly what this is. So let's let's open it up here. And I'm hoping to test this out today. Hopefully it's going to work. Um, oh look at this. So there's some sort of thing in here if I can get it out. And this has got to be something to do with the heads-up display on your uh, on your windshield. This has got to be this reflector here, tinter thing. This has got to be something to do with that. So we're going to read um, because you can do the HUD, or you can just sit this on top of your dash. Either way, it's supposed to work. And uh, I don't know how it does with direct sunlight. I really don't know, but um, we're gonna we're gonna read about it here. It might it might say not to put in direct sunlight. So. Got all these things. We got this card that came in here with some sort of. It says Car Electronics Limited. This is the company or something. And so we'll get a picture of everything that came in our box today, like this. And yeah, if you if you're Doc Brown and you want to do the science experiment, you know, weather control experiment going into the future. Well, then this might be for you. Okay, so oh, we got more instructions here and see if it comes alive okay. plug it in here there it comes it's turning on so you guys see it okay I don't know if it's searching for satellites or what it's doing okay so what was it was supposed to do operation is supposed to come up and it says press the up button or down button to increase decrease speed rate. Okay. Oh, you can make it say whatever you want. So you could make it say 1.21 gigawatts, I guess. Okay, so the stop button changes it between the three modes. And then up and down changes your upper speed limit, I guess. You can go up as high, let's see how high will it go. 290, 200, 225, okay, 225 miles an hour is the fastest speed limit that you can set this thing at. So I guess we could go ahead and set it to 65 or 70. You can't go anywhere. Oh, there we go.
down our speed limit to like, I don't know, 35? That works. Oh no! Here goes your alarm. Says we're speeding out of control. And the alarm went off. So it doesn't just stay on when you're supposedly speeding. 45 miles an hour. Turn it back up to 65. There we go. We're going 50. 50 miles an hour. And the speedometer says we're going 51. And it says we're going 51. So our speedometer and the GPS speedometer are exactly the same. Which is impressive. Because usually... No, the analog speedometers usually are not as accurate as GPS speedometers, so... I prefer the stand-up version to the HUD mode, the heads up display, but we'll, we'll probably end up trying it both ways. I have to install this permanently. And of course, you probably blew this rubber thing down, you know, you needed to. Come on, cars, get out of my way. Thank you. Alright. At least now I know the cord doesn't need to be really long, so I can put the twitchy tie thing around the cord, or I can use a shorter cord. It doesn't have to be this, you know, flat good cable, but it's the one that you can't wait for, so. I think you should stay with it. But yeah, I'm gonna have to put a put a flat uh, or put a twisty type thing around it because it's not staying together there, so. Back to the future. Doc Brown would be proud. much for watching the video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you what you. Please click the link in the description of the video and consider giving to our Patreon. And check out www.christiancourts.com. Alright.